Okay guys, so all I've done was trim off the uh, extra paper, um, sticking over the edge and rubbed it down a little bit. So there, our text block is, um, is done. It's ready to go and it's ready to be cased in, okay? Um, cased in is just a fancy word for, you know, putting a cover on it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, we need to uh, figure out what do we use to for a cover. Now, you can be as pedantic about it as you want. I uh, kind of prefer a soft, hard cover for books that I'm gonna be into because the cover will flex. So what I get is this, uh, this is uh, some sort of hobby poster board that uh, I, I found at Hobby Lobby. It's about a 16th of an inch thick, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. And um, if you want it thicker, you can either glue and double this up uh, to make it thicker, to make a, a more rigid of a uh, cover, uh, or you can find thicker material. Um, like I said, what I found is that I, I kind of like I kind of like this stuff because when you put this on a book, it you know it, it flexes, right? And uh, I think it just makes the book a little easier to use. All right, so what size do you cut these things, right? So I have a little uh, little cheat sheet here. I don't know if that'll show up. Um, you can pause and take a look at that if it'll show up, but I'm going to go over it anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take our rule. Our scale and measure the width of the book. Now we printed this out on eight and a half by eleven paper, so we know the size of the text block. But now, if you've trimmed the book, and I'll talk about that maybe later, if you're interested in in uh, trimming the book where it's a different size, you know, we still want to cut the boards to be about the right size. So typically, what we do, or what's done, is the boards are overhang the edges about an eighth inch or three millimeters, right? So get the um, get the size of the book. Mine's just a hair over eight and a half, right? Um, or uh, looks to be about uh, 220 or yeah, 217 millimeters uh, wide. So I'll want to uh, take that measurement, okay? And I wanna um, add, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna subtract an eighth inch or three millimeters from that, right? So that gives me eight and three eighths inches, or however many millimeters that is. And then for the height of the book, we wanna take the height, in this case is 11, and we wanna add a quarter to it, a quarter inch, right? Or measure it in millimeters and add six millimeters to it, you know, for that three millimeter eighth inch overhang. So I'm gonna cut two boards that are 11 and a quarter by eight and, and uh, three eighths, okay? And so I've cut those, and that's these two boards right here, okay? And then lastly, we need to cut a piece for the spine. Now, if I measure the spine, every book's gonna be different. Mine's right at a half inch. So I'm gonna cut another piece, 11 and a quarter, right? 11 and a quarter by a half inch wide, and that's gonna serve as my spine piece, and that's right here. Now, we'll want a space between the spine pieces and the boards um, of a quarter inch plus the thickness of whatever board you're using, okay? My board is a, about a sixteenth of an inch, right at a sixteenth of an inch, okay? Um, so I've cut mine a quarter inch plus a sixteenth or five sixteenth inch wide, okay? And that's just gonna serve as a spacer when I go to, um, when I go to uh, glue the stuff down to the boards, okay? So Again, you can take cereal boxes and glue them together and make any thickness you want. You can buy some pre-made uh, uh, book boards um, and that sort of stuff. Now, keep in mind that I, I'm on purpose not discussing things like uh, grain and, and stuff like that. Um, if, it's, if, if you really want to get into book binding, there's some, there's some excellent uh, resources there on the web. Okay, so in addition, I want to set the book aside. So in addition to our boards, okay, we're gonna have to have some book cloth. And you recall, I showed you in another video how to make book cloth. This is literally just paper backed uh, cloth that allows us to glue to it without, um, without soaking through the paper, okay? And in addition to that, we will have to have some wheat paste. And I showed you in another video how to uh, make your own wheat paste. It's pretty simple and um, Remember that you'll want to you'll want to um, 
run it through a strainer a couple times to get it as, as creamy as you can. Okay, so let's get started. It's real, really pretty simple. I'm uh, going to get uh, all of my parts out over here. That's going to make up the the uh, book. Now you'll want to align your cloth, you know, so that your design is going whichever way you want it to go. I'm just going to have the feathers go up and down. Like I said, this is that's a shop book. This is not something that I'm too worried about. And I want to lay my boards out roughly here where they go. And I want to make sure that uh, I leave at least at least a half inch all the way around my boards. And we're going to trim that up here in a minute. So let me get the find a brush. Just like this, okay, and grab our wheat paste and hopefully this is in frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat the back of the board uh, with, with wheat paste. Just like so. Always brushing off of the board, right? And I'm sort of doing this in limited space, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Normally I would do this off to the side. Okay, so I've coated that board in a good coat of wheat paste. And I'm going to place it down here like so and I'll use the bottom of my ruler here as a, as a gauge it's like that looks like I could probably bring it this way so yeah, it's stuck it's staying there it's gonna live there All right, I'm just gonna rub that down it's like so okay and then I need to put the back piece in so we'll Coat it with some wheat paste, just like we did the backboard. And hopefully, hopefully I'm keeping this frame in frame, and if I'm not, I apologize, folks. Alright, so there's a coat of wheat paste on that. I'm gonna lay my spacer in there and lay my spine piece in. And Make sure that it's abutted against my straight edge. And just like so. Okay, I'm gonna pull my spacer out. I'll rub that down a little bit with my bone folder like so okay. and then put the spacer back in and hopefully again you can see this I'm just going to take some of my wheat paste here and paint the other board right always coming off the edge to make sure that I don't get any paste on the other side and again hopefully I got this in frame and I'm hurrying here I guess just for the sake of the video uh, you know just take your time and you know and this really is simple look if I can do it anybody can do it right all right we're gonna lay this glued edge down like so, against our spacer, and we're going to make sure that it's lined up with our ruler, like that. Okay, pull our spacer back out, set it off to the side. All right, rub these down. So let me get this out of the way after I throw it on the ground, because you know me, I throw everything on the floor. If you watch my channel, 
Okay, so with that on there, let's flip this over like so. And let's rub this down. Okay. Oops. Jumped the gun there. Boy, it's uh, giving me a fit, mostly because I'm in a hurry. All right, I'm going to let that tack up a little bit and I'll bring you right back in. Okay, I've pretty much let that tack up, and uh, the only other thing I've done is I trimmed the book cloth to about three quarters of an inch all the way around. Now we're going to glue this up. i got some waste paper here. Again, we're going to use the paste. I did use a little bit much, I guess because I you know, was in a hurry. It doesn't really take a lot. But again, we're going to come off of the paper here, and we're going to start with the head and the tail first. waste paper here. Set it off to the side. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the palm of our hand here and we're just going to bring this cloth around and hopefully this will show up. I'm just pressing. I'm not rubbing. Just pressing. Just like so. Okay, I'll take a second for that to tack in there. We'll take your bone folder and rub it down a little bit. Okay. Now, here's where you want to get the creases, okay, along the spine and the book board. Crease that in there. Right, so you're just going to work this until it sets down. Same way with the ends here, I don't know if you could see. Just working that right down onto itself. Pushing that in. Oh, you know what I forgot? Let me peel this back. You want to come back here with some scissors. And I'm sorry about this, guys. You want to nip this corners off, right? Just like so. And you want to leave... You want to leave about an eighth inch protruding past up. Uh, the corner of the board. I knew something didn't look right. Okay. And again, work that down and really tuck that little piece down in the corner. It's like that. Let me get this one here. Again, about a 45 degree angle. And just take your bone folder and work that down. Work those creases. Just like so. Hopefully all that's in frame. I keep a damp cloth to keep things wiped up. Okay. All right, we're just going to keep working that, working that down. I was a little heavy with the paste again. Now you can use the uh, PVA glue here if you want to. All right. Turn this around. Again, I'm going to 
clip off these corners. I forgot to do that. Leaving about an eighth inch of material extending past the corner because if you cut it right up to the corner, uh, the board will show through the material. All right. Almost messed up there again. Let's get our waste paper back under there. We got a thin layer of paste on there. And again, we're just going to take our palm of our hand, you know, the meaty part of our thumb here, and we're just going to push this over and press until we get that to stick. Okay, and again, we're going to work this down with the bone folder. Paying attention to these creases here. And be sure to tuck that little corner on the ends. Just like that. All right. I've gotten a little heavy handed with the paste. Again, I'm paying attention to these corners. Make sure everything is tucked in. You can use your fingernail, your folder, or whatever you need. Okay, now we're just gonna do the ends of the books, or the end of the side ends here. The same thing. Work them corners down. All right, let's do the other end. And if you recall, if I haven't mentioned it, I showed you how to make book cloth and one of the other videos. So um, I, I guess you could probably buy it. I don't know. I wouldn't know where. Um, but it's super simple to make. And it's really cheap to make too. And again, let's work this down like so. All right, so there's our binding, our cover pretty much done. I'm just going to work at it here and work some of the stuff down while the glue is setting up. And when I get done, I'll bring you back in.